What's up everybody and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel and today we are going to be taking a look at the Jazzware World of Halo Scale 2 pack grunt and unsc marine but first if you're new then welcome this channel is all about cool action figures analyzing them hunting them taking pics of them and of course playing with them i upload new videos constantly throughout the week so make sure you hit that bell icon so you stay notified when i do upload new videos and if you do enjoy this one or any of my other ones please remember to give them a thumbs up it really helps the channel grow and it lets me know you guys are enjoying the content i'm putting out if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button guys it is a very small goal of mine try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that i put out so please be my one new subscriber for this video thank you so much in advance and if you guys want to support the channel in any way all I ask is that you watch my videos from start to finish. As always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. I am your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and once again, guys, we are going to be taking a look at the Jazzwares World of Halo 2 Pack Grunt and UNSC Marine. Uh, these things, before we even get started, are going on clearance at Target's and Walmart, guys. Walmart has the Ghost for clearance, and Target has the Warthog. And these two-pack figures, if you can find them on clearance, the three-packs are not, unfortunately, on clearance. They're still $30. But I was able to find these two for uh, $16.99 clearance at a, at a Target, and I had to jump on it. Uh, because these things are actually going for about $30 on eBay. So, since I found it for $16.99, I went ahead and bought it. And since I also just recently got the Warthog, I do need another soldier or two to fill it in. But, if you cannot find these guys and you want to fill in the Warthog that you find on clearance with your Master Chief, I will give you another alternate later on in this video. So, let's go ahead and jump right on into this, and what do they come with? They come with a few little accessories, the first one being, they come with two little stands right here, one for each of them. It's kind of like a ground covering stand, which is really nice. I like how they added some detailing and color to it, and it's not just a basic... Uh, all brown uh, stand. It actually looks like it's moss covered, stone and whatnot. Uh, kind of looks like they like kind of like the flooring on uh, the Rings of Halo. So it's really cool and nice. Now each does come with one gun each. The UNSC Marine comes with, of course, the battle rifle. And these are 3.75 inch figures, guys. So it is a bit of a smaller scale than what we're used to here on the channel. But like I said, clearance prices. I love Halo. And Halo figures, so I had to. Uh, so I jumped on the opportunity to get in on this line. Uh, so that's why I'm bringing you this review and bring and I have these figures. Uh, so like I said, a bit smaller than what we're used to here on the line, but still very. Whoops, sorry guys. You know it wouldn't be a cool figures channel if I don't knock the camera at least once on the, the review. But like I said, small figures, but still very well, nicely detailed. I have to admit, I absolutely love this UNSC Marine, and I'm super glad I found him because, like I said, he is going for. Quite a bit on the aftermarket um uh, real quick guys i just wanted to point out that there is a peg hole on the back of this guy that you can attach the gun to the little peg right there just goes right there right in the hole pegs right on into his back and he can carry his gun on his back right there just wanted to put that in there because i did forget about it while i was filming the review all right guys back to the review on ebay by himself too like i think the single release is going for about 30 dollars and i got both these guys for 16.99 so the Grunt comes with a needler right here, and I absolutely love this thing. This thing is just so nicely detailed and colored. I absolutely love the clear paint uh, needles at the top. It's just a very nice representation of this weapon. So let's go ahead and pull the Grunt for so you can take a closer look at him as well. I do have two other Grunts. They are blue colored instead of orange. Uh, I'll, put, I'll link those the review to both of those since I did them together uh, up above here. Uh, I was waiting and waiting to get this pack because I wanted a grunt for my uh, Spartan collection Master Chief and Spartans because in my opinion these grunts don't scale well with this line. They scale well with the Spartan collection because they are look how much bigger this guy is when in the video game they, the grunts tend to be shorter smaller aliens uh, basically like knee height and whatnot but uh, you know here they are basically the height and thickness and he's really a lot bigger uh, in scale than this UNSC Marine so in my mind they fit a lot better with the Spartan collection which is why I got the other two originally and yeah and they really do fit a lot better with the Spartan collection than the world of Halo uh, figures, but with that being said guys, let's go ahead and pull the grunt forward and take a look at his articulation I'm gonna go run. I'm just gonna run right through it real quickly because like I said I do have a review of the other grunts up above linked So you guys can check that out if you want a more in-depth view because I do go more in depth He goes all the way all the way to the right Sorry guys, he goes all the way to the right all the way to the left You just have to pull his head down a little bit because his uh, Piece right here on his armor gets caught. He can't look down that much 
he can look up basically up at you his arms go out that much you get rotation at the shoulder as well as at the bice or the elbow his elbows are a single hinge so you only get 90 degree you get rotation at the wrist right there and up and down and I believe this one is up and down as well you get slight rotation at the waist right there pulling him off the stand he can kick out all the way there he can kick out basically all the way forward all the way back he does come with double hinge knees but his fat calves uh, kind of prevent you from going any further than that uh, he does come with uh, articulated ankles but they're very tight but they do go all the way up to there all the way down to there so that's a nice feature um, and of course a ball rocker on the ankle so all in all that I absolutely love these grunts like I said I use them more for my Spartan collection uh, especially since I didn't have any world of halo figures or anything uh, associated to that line or that scale so th I used them for my uh, Spartan collection uh, so you guys determine and decide whether or not they fit in with the World of Halo or Spartan. But pulling the UNSC Marine forward, let's take a look at his articulation. He can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look down that much, look up that much. Whoops, their heads are a little loose. He does have decent head tilt. Um, his armor does prevent his arm from going all the way up, so that's about it right there. You do get 360 rotation at the arm. Oh, let me move my arm around. 360 rotation at the arm, single hinge elbow joint for him as well. Uh, rotation at the wrist, and I believe you do get up and down. Yeah, you do get up and down hinging right here on the wrist. Looking at his waist articulation, he can turn at the top. And I'm trying to see if he can twist at the bottom. He can twist at the top and the bottom of his midsection, but it's very tight right here. But So you want to use the top if you're going to rotate him. Looking at his leg articulation, uh, he can't kick out too far. Uh, his holster and gun get kind of caught there. Uh, unfortunately, this gun does not come out. It's just molded uh, on there. He can kick that far. He can't kick back at all. I mean, his leg just doesn't go back any more than that. He does come with double hinge knees, unlike his arms, which are single hinge elbow joints. Looking at his ankle articulation, he can go all the way down like that. But when you come back up, his shin guard right here kind of stops him from going all the way up. So he can only go that far up. There it is flat, and then there it is up. And he also does come with a ball rocker hinge joint right there. So before we take a look at some cool picks I took of these two guys, I'm going to show you a quick comparison to uh, basically this guy next to the, the Master Chief in the World of Halo line, as well as, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, an alternate figure line that you can mix and match with these guys so first up I'm gonna pull up Master Chief and bring him towards the middle so let me move this guy over here the Master Chief in the middle right here so as you can see the scale is pretty much basically that the UNSC Marine is at his shoulder height and so when I first got the Warthog I didn't have any other World of Halo figures besides the Master Chief and so to fill out the Warthog I actually put in a few of my classic Star Wars toys from back when I was a kid and as you can see this guy, whoops, this guy is essentially the same height at his shoulder right there. And even pulling the UNSC Marine forward and putting them back to back, uh, you can see that it is barely maybe a centimeter difference between the two in height, in terms of height. And um, when you pull Master Chief forward, uh, they're essentially lined up to the same spot in his back. So you can mix in your classic or vintage uh, collection Star Wars toys with these guys if you so choose to and you don't want to go find a uh, world of halo figures so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics of the grunt and the UNSC Marine and we'll be right back
Alright guys, thanks so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out and if you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. But if you guys did enjoy this video or any of my other ones, please remember to give them a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, guys. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Magical, aka the Buff Collector. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.